June the 20th and the 30th of September, it's Plymouth Arts Weekend and Open Art Studios. So come to Plymouth and see the vibrant and exciting art across the city and the southwest. And I'm meeting Chris at the Kaya Gallery in Plymouth South Side Street, the Barbican. Well, it's Plymouth Art Weekend and I'm in the Kaya Gallery uh, having a quick look around. And here's the manager, Chris Warren. Hello, Chris. How are you? Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. So how long have you been here? Um, 12 months now. So what brought you into the Barbican? Um, always been a fan of Robert Lenkovich and collected his work and Beryl Cooks yeah. and Brian Pollard. So I thought that's that shouts Barbican. Yeah. So when this became available, I thought this would be just like an extension of my own collection. Yeah. So I thought with the, the Lenkovich Beryl Kirk, Brian Pollard connection, I could mould a gallery around those three names and 12 months on, we're getting a brand. People are coming here for Lankovich. In fact, looking at this one, one of Robert's first ever self-portrait, oil on board, yeah. when he was 15 years old in 1956. And that's a very important piece in so the Lankovich story. How did you manage to get hold of this one? Um, I was very lucky. Um, someone approached me and said they're looking to sell it and they've been given my name. Uh -huh. So we, we did a deal and I, I think it's a very, very important piece in the length of its story. Yeah. And I'm <clears throat> really, really pleased to have the, um, the original in the gallery. Because Robert used to have a studio in the Barbican for years, didn't he? Yes, he did. And also, if you shoot around here, another wonderful Robert. Who's the lady? Do you know? Do you know? Dame Dora Russell. She's the wife of Bertrand Russell, the um, famous philosopher. Uh -huh. And Robert painted that in three sittings. Um, Karen took him down three times to Porth Colonel when they lived in Porth Colonel. Yeah. And I've had a few people come in who know the big um, galleries in London, etc., and said that belongs in the National Portrait Gallery or the Tate. It's that good, and I've got to agree. So how did you get to hear about Robert Langevitz in the first place? Because you're um, not from Plymouth originally, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, yeah. Plymouth born and bred, and I used to come down to the Barbican, and like everyone else, I would see Robert walking around, and I, I was, like everyone else, just interested, went up and watched him paint, and that was it, hooked. Uh -huh. And that's how I got to know Brian Pollard and I'd see Beryl Kirk walking up and down. And as I got a bit older and more interested in art, started to collect a few things and it's just stayed with me forever. So it was it, the logical thing to end up in a gallery on the Barbican. Because his studio was amazing, wasn't it? It's like going into the TARDIS. Yeah. You went up a spiral staircase and, and then you came also, into this great big cavern. Yeah, and the thing with Robert is pure theatre. Like, you look at the cover of the, the book, it's just everything about it, pure theatre. Robert in the middle, the big red scarf, the pose, the paintbrush. Wonderful. Is it, am I right in saying after he had his a heart condition, he turned his uh, scarf into a black one? I don't know. You would have to ask someone like I, Anna. I think on that's that one. The, probably the story. All oh, right. Ah, right like before. Always I, learning something. Could, be, could be the wrong way around, but right. I, I think there's, it, it, there was something like that down the, down the line. And this is the famous Diogenes. Of course, yeah. And I was lucky enough to. Um, I was lucky. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. I was lucky enough to Robert show me the the body itself. Um, quite shocked that in those days, Freedom Fields, when they embalm people, they used to shave them. So Diogenes wasn't. The Diogenes I remember is like a shrivelled little looked, man, and it was. It had looked years younger as well. Yeah. So I mean, that must have been quite hairy because that was just across the road from where you are with your Kaya Gallery. Yes, absolutely. So cool. How can people get a hold of you? Um, I've got a website. I've got um, Instagram. I've got Facebook, and we're as I say, the website KayaGallery.co.uk is. Um, readily available and we package and send all over the world. And what other artists are you promoting at the moment? Um, I've got Mark Wiggin, who's Can named... we have a quick look around? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got 
mocked. Mark is doing lots with pallet. Knife. It's tremendous, Nine. isn't it? I've got Anthony O'Keefe, who does portraiture yeah. and commissions for us. We've got, obviously, Jane Vox, yeah. who's very, very popular and a staple of the gallery. I've got Tony Fitzsimmons, who's a photojournalist. Yeah, I've heard of him before. Yeah, Tony's absolutely awesome, a big really, part of the gallery. These are really nice photos, aren't they? And Dave Crocker, who's doing his Plymouth pubs and Plymouth scenes. And he's relocated to Kent, I believe. I haven't heard that, but I, I know that he's doing some more of the um, the Plymouth pub scenes, Yeah, which, which is good. And I've got M&D Glass, which is another staple of the gallery. Handmade glass in Plymouth, mother and daughter, absolutely fantastic, and their star is rising. They've yeah. recently made some um, awards, glass awards, for some exhibitions and shows. Yeah. So their star is, is rising. Oh, this, so these are prints, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, limited, 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 ed limited edition prints. prints. So who's this uh, person in the right one? That's Anna, is it? That's Karen. Karen. And who's the one on the left? Is it Karen Anna. again? Anna. Yeah. Karen's a, um, a local. Karen actually lives locally and she pops in occasionally and Anne has a chat. Yeah. She was saying she remembered taking Robert down to Porth Karen oh. because he wanted to meet Bertrand Russell, the famous philosopher, yeah. because Robert's passion for philosophy yeah. and she remembered the lady and said what a strong lady she was and how Robert caught that particular um, image of her. Yeah. Well thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much indeed Chris. Yes, thank you. You can find the Kaya Gallery on Facebook and all social networking sites. This has been a Chris Summerfield video 2018. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com and if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can pay me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my videos. It's a lot of stars, 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 st